Gary Johnson, Ron Paul, 2012 update. Uh, had a friend call me today about uh, a couple phone calls that he made. One was to the Libertarian Party, uh, the executive director, Carla, Carla Howell, who uh, I actually know pretty well. She's uh, spoken at the Boston Freedom Rally several times. She's a Massachusetts, uh, uh, a Massachusetts resident, and she's worked on a, a lot of uh, public uh, public initiatives here in Massachusetts, so she's well known. Um, uh, my friend, who will remain unnamed at this point because he is a registered Republican and he does work within the Republican Party, but uh, he placed a call to Carla Howell and uh, talked to her, and she actually put him in touch with uh, the general counsel for the Libertarian Party to see if this is even possible to find out if it is even possible to add. Ron Paul as the vice presidential uh, nominee for the Libertarian Party. And apparently it is possible to add him uh, to the ballot in and, and most, most of the 50 states that the Libertarian Party is on. Massachusetts turns out to be one of the only states that uh, will probably have some issues and it would still have to be Gary Johnson, Judge Jim Gray. Uh, but there is a possibility. So basically what we need everyone to do tomorrow is to call Ron Paul's Washington, D.C. office at 202-225-2831 and his uh, Lake Jackson, Texas office at two uh, at 979-285-0231. Um, I will have those numbers. You can see those in the video description below this video. I'll also have uh, the, the Libertarian Party contacts as well as uh, Gary Johnson contacts. So... We need everyone to call tomorrow before the Jay Leno show, before Ron Paul is on the Jay Leno show on Tuesday. Uh, if you're just hearing about this now, basically the story is this. Evan from Alaska, a Ron Paul uh, delegate to the Republican National Conference uh, Convention, ran a conference call last night with over 300 uh, participants from all over the country. And the discussion was his talks with Ron Paul and getting him to... Uh, go with the idea of running on a third party ticket um, it, it, it basically it's up to us that that's the message on this if we want this to happen we have to make it happen we have to call Ron Paul if it doesn't happen it's not because I didn't know what I was talking about and I reported a bad story it's because not enough people believed not enough people made phone calls this isn't about uh, sending money this is about making a phone call and letting Ron Paul know that you will support them that this is the time that uh, sticking with the Republican Party uh, trying to build this party trying to make changes within within this party is one thing but we need to go further we need Ron Paul to join the libertarian ticket with Gary Johnson and whether or not he gets the vice president position or the president position or gets added to the ticket or not that that's even beside the point we want Ron Paul number one to endorse and campaign for Gary Johnson and if it's possible if Gary Johnson and Judge Jim Gray are open to having Ron Paul on the ticket we want Ron Paul to accept it we want Ron Paul to make the phone call to say I am interested in supporting you folks I want to campaign for you I will join the ticket if you need me that's what we're asking everyone to do tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I want, I, you know, I know that uh, right now Ron Paul's voicemail is all filled up. So today is probably not the best day. It's a holiday. Tomorrow's the day. Tuesday. We need everybody to call Ron Paul. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Let's make this happen. We can do this. I know we can. Do not give up. Don't, don't, don't give in to uh, the cynical people on the internet that say that this can't happen. That. Uh,